Does anybody here have anything to say to me? I think we talked about these already. Yeah. Okay, and Triss. Oh yeah, the Things ingredients for Triss. What was it again? White Myrtle? Listen. You I thought. <laughs> What's it up? All right. <laughs> There's this mixture that cleanses the Green tissue mold. just beneath your skin. And to make. Well, I'm off to. <laughs> it's actually not a quest, so it makes it kind of hard to keep track of whether we have it or not. White Myrtle At petals? Green mold? You. Yeah! Vomiting. White Myrtle Petal, Green Mold, Wolf's Aloe. For now though, I think we should be getting out the ingredients. We need to upgrade the sword to make the sword and make the armor. So let's see here. I know we need leather. This is my storage. Leather. We need iron ores as well. Ten. Sure. Getting a little heavy again. Leather. Good bit. If we're going to the smith anyway, should we just get all the runes out? Yeah. Take it all out. Studded leather. Sun rune. Why not? Why not? Just take out- Can I even take out all the timber? Oh, I'm a little bit heavy already. That sucks. Okay. I think we'll be good for now. But we'll put in some junk here. We need to sell this stuff, okay? Let's just sell it. We do Watch not need a hundred... Yeah, we don't need a hundred necro teeth. Can you buy my necro teeth? Yes. Maybe you can buy like... 94 of them? How much money is that? 400 orins? I'll take it. Twine? That's a lot of twine too. You can have like half of it. Necro claws? Same. We don't need this many. Mutagens. Mutagens. Alchemy ingredients. I guess we can keep those. Eyes? Not that many. Yeah. Doing a little better on the weight already. It's really the small items that add up to be a really heavy weight that's making me... that's bogging me down right now. Embryo... I guess we can keep the rest of this. Yeah, white myrtle. So we have white myrtle petals for sure. Do we have wolf's aloe and green mold? I don't think we have green mold. I don't remember seeing that. Anywhere. Okay, I think we're fine. Yes, so all we gotta do, if we check my... my diagrams... crafting... Oh, I can craft a trap as well, right? If I buy the thing from Cedric. Hey, where's my diagrams? Diagrams. Hunter's armor. Yeah, from the bottom. We have enough components. Good. And... Andrega hide armor. Well, Andrega hide armor... Oh, reinforcements. Plus one. Petri's filter. Super leather trousers. I gotta see if it's actually better than what I have right now. Hold on. Selling junk? Where's my junk? Wasn't there a junk section? Right here. Yeah. Sell this crap. Good. Good. Okay. And... Yeah, maybe we don't have to look at it. Let's go back to the... Let's go to the blacksmith. Oh, no one's here. Because it's nighttime right now. Okay, well, I can take the time to look at my diagrams. Just to see what I have is actually worth making. So we're making the Witcher's superb silver sword for sure. 17 to 25. 14 to 22. Yes. Hunter's armor. Plus 10. This one's plus 8. But then we also have to have a enhancement to make it worth it. Rape shot. Um, everything else is pretty much potions. Superb leather trousers. Heavy leather trousers. Uh, what we have right now is actually better. Yeah, the percentages are all higher. This is definitively better. So I can just throw this one away. Andrega hide armor reinforcements. Is that worth it? Witcher silver sword. 
We can't sell this one. That was a quest one. Okay, let's make it daytime and we will make those two things. The sword and the armor. Dawn. Okay. Oh yeah, we gotta look at the talents right after this too. Hello? So how can we help you, eh? Can you please craft me a Witcher's superb sword? Silver sword. <gasps> what? Did you mention that we needed this? I didn't see it. Oh, are you kidding me? Silver ore? Uh, that might be in my inventory or on uh, my storage. I didn't check earlier. Anyway, though, hunter's armor? We can definitely make this. Yeah. So let's do it. Okay. All right. Hey, you have silver ore! Okay, we're all good, we're all good. Silver plated sword, superb. Got a lot of stuff here. Anyway, can I please have this? Just one is fine. And then, could you sure. please craft me a new sword? Yeah, we're all good now, thank goodness. Right one, right? Okay. There we go. All right. We have a, ooh, it looks fancy. It doesn't have a hook. My moon blade. I'm finally retiring the sword from the Witcher 1 now. There we go. We have a superb cutlass. We have a Witcher's superb silver sword. Okay, this one we can only add one slot into. And how would I do that? I think I need to talk to the blacksmith guy again, right? But for my armor. Oh, I didn't wear it yet. Where is it? Hunter's armor. Yes. Yeah. Ooh, a lot of slots. Good. Enhancements? Um, Dwarven Enhancement, plus 10, armor plus 2. I sort of used my best one on the previous armor, which kind of sucks. <laughs> we can put the Dwarven one on it. Yeah. No? Yeah. We have a lot of spots here anyway. Hardened Leather Reinforcement, Fiber Enhancer. Vitality plus 5, that's not that good. Yeah. Yeah. Anything permanent for the swords? Yeah, okay. Uh, let's check this guy out. So, how can we help? Andrega hide armor? Resistance to poisoning. That might be good for the Karen too, actually. <laughs> huh. Everything else, though. Don't really need it. No. Mm. And Drega pet. Okay, sure, why not? Let's make one of these ones. It's only 10 orins. Uh. Wait, what? Oh, I'm actually missing. I'm missing one leather. Okay, that's fine. Whatever. Okay, I'm just gonna throw on some random stuff on it then. Hold up. Enhancements? Vitality... So this actually has less vitality than the previous one earlier. Uh, we might find some better armor down the line, but I guess for now I'll just throw everything on it. Sure. Everything I have. Fiber Enhancer or Amethyst? Vitality plus 5 or Resistance to Bleeding plus 1%? Vitality plus 5. Sure. And there we go. How do we upgrade the swords again? Uh, maybe we have to use the non-permanent ones. Are there any permanent sword enhancements? Isn't that what the... the meteorites are for? How do we access the meteorites here? What? Uh... Here. Yeah. Sword upgrade. So how do I use that? I just put it on? Okay. Rune, sword upgrade. Resistance to incineration plus 20%. Incineration plus 10%. Damage plus 5%. Oh, okay. So, meteorite ore is a crafting component, but rune is something that we can just stick on the sword. Alright. Sun rune. Earth rune. Vitality plus 25. That seems pretty good. Damage reduction on block. 
That's gonna be useless, because I never remember to block. Um... Hmm... Moon rune? Damage bonus on signs. Whatever. Nah... That's pretty much all I got. Okay. Okay, so I think what I'm gonna do is put a fire rune on this. And I will put another... <gasps> Did I only have one? I think so. Dang! I thought I had more. And I will also put a... Sun rune is damage plus 5%. I have two earth runes. I want that because I want the vitality plus 25 twice. <laughs> but I would also like to increase my damage if that's okay. Yeah, that's all I got. Okay. That is... that is fine. We'll put on this. Sun rune is damage plus 5% though. Yeah. And we have three of them. Okay, let's just put one on. There we go. Okay. I think we're finally all decked out now. So, is there anything My else we need to do before we continue preparing for the Kairin? Scent of Incense? I think I'm just waiting for something to happen here. I don't know what's up. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I think we're ready for the Kairin now. Let's do the points. Meditation. Character. Yes. Okay, so I had a look at all three paths more closely, and uh, initially, there's nothing that really sticks out to me besides one thing here. One thing in the Swordsman path here. Where is it? Whirl. Unlocks the ability to deal damage to many opponents. Additional opponents take 50% damage. In all of our combat so far, I feel like the one thing that's really tripping me up is the lack of an ability to do crowd control. Because back in Witcher 1, you had stuff like group style, which made it pretty easy peasy. But here, if it's more than one at a time, I'm just like, wow, I don't know what to do anymore. So I feel like getting this one, at least is, it's necessary. Yeah. Which means, if I want to work towards it, I think I need to do this one first. I can't just go here. So I'll just do this right now. Okay, the rest of the trees I haven't really decided yet, but preliminarily, I feel like I'm just going to abandon alchemy because <laughs> it's not that I hate potions, but um, well, no, I do hate potions. <laughs> it's um, it's a little bit of a chore remembering to take potions, which I definitely don't always remember to do. So if I can avoid it, I would be totally okay with avoiding it for now. For now anyway. So I think I'm probably going to do some mixture of swordsman and magic. As for the actual distribution, who knows? Who knows? Okay, so apparently there's also been an attribute screen I haven't been looking at. Ah, I haven't seen this before. Wait, damage 1 to 2? Am I not holding a sword right now? Vitality, 220, or 210. No regeneration during combat. Regeneration 2 normally. We, have, we can see the resistances. No critical effects. Armor 23. Vigor 2. It would be really nice to get higher vigor too. Yeah. Whole bunch of bonuses. Okay. Cool. Knowledge. Ah, we haven't seen this at all. Is this um the stuff that we read in books before? Arrakis are large, slow, and protected by a durable armor. The carapace, as the witchers call this armor, is especially tough from the front, so it's much easier to wound the creature from the side or the back. The Arrakis' charges make an excellent for that. Excellent what? One has to evade the charge at all costs by stepping out of the beast's way, and then make one's blow. Without doubt, it's best to use the strong style then. Strong style, I guess that means the strong strike? No fear of poison, not much fear of fire. Arrakis? What one was that again? Is this something that we just read about, or have we actually fought it before? Insectoid oil. Ability level 3 out of 3. So I'm guessing one paragraph is one piece of knowledge here. Okay. And Dregas? We learn about this through fighting, as opposed to reading a book. Although we read the book anyway. I think we read it. Did we read it? No, actually, I don't think we did. No. Yeah. Um, these monsters, like arachnids, hatch from eggs. 
Impregnated queens lay the eggs in cocoons, which hang from trees in areas known as nests. The lesser creatures zealously guard their queens, as colonies depend on them for survival. The queens themselves remain hidden, caring little for what happens to other adult specimens. However, when their nest is threatened, they emerge swiftly and fight ferociously. Emerge swiftly is right! They practically teleported over here. Thus, to exterminate an Andrega colony, one must set fire to its cocoons to lure out and kill the queen. When fighting an Andrega, use the strong style and target the beast's abdomen, where its armor is weakest. Trusting in the toughness of their armor, the creatures often willingly take blows, only to respond with a sudden counterattack that can be deadly if not evaded or blocked. Andregas can bleed to death if hit with a blade coated with appropriate oil. They are also susceptible to all wisher signs. The monster can be easily tripped up, knocked down, or immobilized by a trap. However, the Andrega's peculiar metabolism makes it immune to poison. So this is like the best GRE entry! This is a really strange place to have it. Oh, I feel like it should be with the glossary, but what do I know? Okay, Neckers? I feel like we know how to fight them pretty well already, so I'm just gonna skim past this part. Yeah... <gasps> what? Neckers venture out as a hunting party? Damn. They're pretty agile, yes. Running from them is not the best idea. For the monsters will catch up to their prey and swiftly kill it with multiple hits of their claws. Signs, bombs, poisons, oils... That augment bleeding are all good. Oh, Necker nests are best destroyed with grape shot bombs. There it is. There it is. Wraiths? So when we read about wraiths, it actually came here too. Okay, I will read that when we see a wraith. <laughs> Dragons? Do we have anything that's not 3 out of 3? Karens? Okay, we should probably read this one. Over a hundred years ago, the Karen made its lair near the trading post of Flotsam. Wait, over a hundred years ago? That long? The folk of the nearby village call it the Old Man. People have grown used to the monster's presence until recently. They even considered the monster harmless. Lately, however, the Karen awoke and now emerges from the water. It has become aggressive. It shatters ships, shreds nets, snatches people from the riverbanks, and pulls them beneath the water. Even the military cannot handle this plague, for the Karen hides in the water, where it is impossible to fight. Okay, well, first thought. Why did it suddenly become aggressive? Probably someone was poking at it and not being nice to it. To defeat the Karen, one first needs to pull it onto dry land or drain the river meander where the monster lies in wait. If that trick works, it will be possible to approach the monstrosity. The creature defends itself with long, heavy tentacles, an ordinary man would die from a single blow. For these appendages weigh as much as a trebuchet arm and are covered in poisonous mucus. These tentacles should be cut off or immobilized during combat, for example, using a special trap. We didn't buy this yet. We never bought the diagram from Cedric. Once the Karen is unable to shield itself, one should approach its trunk, but beware its venom. The monster spits its vile poison as skillfully as a street urchin. Its armor, tougher than that of any other creature, with the possible exception of dragons, is the final obstacle to overcome. One needs to find a way to pierce the carapace and get to the inner organs. Good luck! <laughs> That's helpful. So it's got tentacles that need to be cut off or immobilized by special traps. And then we can approach its trunk. But it's poisonous, but that's okay because we got the Osmark potion. The Karen laughs at poisons, or it would laugh if it had a sense of humor. It might even fall over from laughter, and that would be the only way to knock it down, but it's not going to happen. If the creature had a circulatory system like humans do, it might be possible to bleed it to death. Unfortunately, it is a monster that makes other monsters seem like house pets, thus oils reducing blood coagulation cannot harm it. It treats most traps like garbage strewn on the ground, but witchers may be able to construct traps to immobilize its tentacles. Oh, yeah, that's right, we have a sign. We have two signs that we never use. The persuasion one and the trap one. Dang, are you telling me to use it? Because if so, I gotta go actually remember what the keys are again. I haven't used those ones at all. Okay, and we also have... Abilities. Axie, Sign Hex, Level 3. 
allows use of axis sign during conversations in order to obtain information or other benefits. Intimidation 2. Persuasion 2. So they're basically they accomplish the same thing, but um, some people might not be susceptible to intimidation, and some might be better with axi, so on and so forth. Cover? Cover? How do I... Strongback. Geralt can carry more items. Pyromaniac. Incineration plus 20%. Conjurer. Signs damage plus 3. Assassin. Damage dealt from attacking from behind, plus 25. Um, I'm guessing over time, we can probably add more to this list here, but for now, that's all we got. Okay, okay. Originally, I was gonna spend some time reading the glossary now, but we spent a lot of time just looking at equipment and uh, doing the attributes and stuff, so I feel like I want to go fight the Karen first, especially because we just read about fighting the Karen. So the last question for us here is, do I want to spend money to buy that trap from Cedric? I think I remember so it, it being about 200 orins. How many do I have? 3,600? Eh. Okay, fine, let's do it. <laughs> it's not like we're really in dire need of money right now, but at the same time, the difference between a rich person and a poor person is your spending habits. So I don't want to make a habit out of this, but um, if we're fighting a Karen, something that's been around for a hundred years, probably we should try to get all the advantages we can get. Now if only we could find Cedric, who seems to like walking around. Here you are. Hello, Cedric. Hello. Can I please buy a diagram from you? Karen... Karen... Carapace. Oh, that's a reinforcement. So if we kill the Karen and get the Karen skin, then this will be really good for us. Okay, sure, I'll buy that too. Karen trap. Oh, we're missing a silver ore. Can we get a silver ore from... The blacksmith? Probably. Okay. Wow, look at my money just drain away. This is not good. I don't like this. <laughs> not one bit. Alright, here we go. Only 20 orange to craft it, but the diagram, that's the thing that's expensive here. One iron frame, two oils, one iron ore, one silver ore. Okay, are we good? I think we're pretty much ready then. Um, if we want to fight the Karen, do we go talk to Sheila? Well, I think we're ready. Sense. I had a look at my potions just now too, and I have three swallow potions. I have some blade oils that I can apply, so we... Theoretically, we should be prepared. Hello, Sheila. Any progress? Hari... Oh! Oh yes! You wanted to talk! I never expected to see you at Laredo's. Whereas I was sure you would show up there. The Commandant is terribly jealous about his small trading post. Anyone of import is summoned to hear him out sooner rather than later. What did he want from you? That is my concern, certainly none of yours. We're not a tandem, Geralt. We'll kill the Kran together, but that is all. Fair enough, fair enough. I am ready, but do you want me to take the potions first before I talk to you or after? I'm assuming after. I've got everything I need. Let's go. Excellent. Ready? Are you wearing makeup? We all have our rituals. From what I know, K runs are colorblind. <laughs> Enough, Geralt. Time to draw the beast out of the water. Got an ace up your sleeve? I always do. Don't get eaten, and we'll soon both be heroes. I hope you're right. You descend okay. into the lair. I'll stay on the bridge and pull it out onto the bank. Take care. It'll be extremely dangerous, even on land. Okay, I think that's my cue to take whatever potions I have, uh, equip whatever traps I have. The Karen trap, do I have to put it here to use it? Probably. Forget about the snares, okay? We're not gonna use those anytime soon. So we do have some other stuff here that we can use. Just, you know, just keeping it in mind. For the Karen, since it is a monster, we're gonna be using the silver sword. Do we have any oils? Enhancements that we can use for that. Whetstone. Damage plus 20%. This sounds like a really good one for us. Not for this one. Not this one. Insectoid, specters. This could be good too. But this is only for three minutes. This is really... The duration is a little bit short. 
Yeah, okay, let's start off with a whetstone. Osmerk, how long is it gonna take to fight this guy? Because I remember the Osmerk has a duration of 10 minutes. Osmerk. Oh, do I have to drink the Osmerk in the, the menu here? Oh, it's called a mongoose, actually. Osmerk is the ingredient for the mongoose. Duration 10 minutes. Ooh, my tox- oh, crap. Whoa, this actually makes me really... Is that gonna be okay? I don't really know what the effects of toxicity are here. But, uh, hopefully it'll be good enough. Okay. Oh my god, my 30 seconds of whetstone. We gotta hurry up. Alright, alright. One last thing, one last thing. Let me make sure the it's on the trap. Okay, I think we're good. Uh, silver sword. Oh my god, those ticking timers are... <laughs> they're making me nervous. Where are we? Ah, the boat. Alright. You descend into the lair. I'll stay on the bridge and pull it out onto the bank. Take care. It'll be extremely dangerous, even on land. How do I descend into the lair, ma'am? Here? Ah, so we're gonna find the carrot. Come on. Hey! Come on, please. My my timers are ticking. I need to, like, do this quickly. <laughs> please. This is the place where we ran into the... Where we found the letter to begin with, right? Holy, I think I took my, my potions and oils a little bit too early. The whetstone's probably gonna be okay, but... Uh, hopefully... Oh, I'm trying to run really, really fast right now, but there's only a limit as to how fast I can be. Oh, I forgot to change the time of day. At least it's not nighttime. Ooh, electricity! It's not raining right now, though. Ah! She's using the electricity to disturb it. So it leaves the water. Okay. Whoa! Hello? Okay, what do I do? What do I do? <laughs> Karen! Whoa! How do I use the trap on you? Deploy trap! Uh, did you... Do you want to like? I'm guessing Igni's. Trap it with the air gun. Air gun. You come down and trap it. Damn you! Oh. Dude, did my trap even do anything earlier? Watch out. Oh. Maybe I should be using Quen, just in case, you know. Oh, Sheila, watch out! Okay, so we have to get all the tentacles. Is that the thing here? Ah! God, I wasn't even... Oh, it's trapped! It's trapped! Come on, no! Oh, what a shame! What a shame! Hey, my health. <laughs> my health is really not looking good right now. I took a swallow potion, right? Do you want to, like, hurry up? I need to look at it more, like, properly to see what it's trying to do. Oh, oh! That's another one. I'm really hoping my vigor comes back soon. I'm watching. Just get away. Get away from it. 
Did it even fall into my trap? Because I still see it there. Oh. Maybe I could just, like, walk over to it if I'm lucky enough? <laughs> nope. Doesn't work like that. Ah! Whoa! My health, my health. Can't waste this opportunity, though. Is it an octopus? How many tentacles do you have? Oh! Oh! What? Ah! Oh! Oh, I did it wrong, I did it wrong. Oh, I'm dead! I clicked on my mouse too many times. I was spamming mouse clicks and then the the QTE for the space bar came up. So that's why I failed that one. Okay, okay. I have a better grasp of how this is gonna be now. I think we'll be okay. We'll be okay. Okay, let's just start off with a Quen here. Oh! Well, that was really useful. Take that. That's one. I don't think I really needed a trap. Oh! No! No, 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 no! No! We're all right, we're all right. Just... There we go. If we stay out of its way, I think we'll be okay. Okay, that's two. It's angry. Watch out! I know it's angry. I know. Slow and steady. Something. Something. Ah, uh, that one's not really... Do you want to get trapped? It's alright. I won't get poisoned. Oh, oh, whoa, 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 I didn't even notice! Ah, it's trapping me! I don't have vigor! Down the trap, goddammit, Geralt. Did I put it down? I didn't even see. I think I did, but... It's okay. We can take as long as we want, as long as we don't die. So just be careful about the health here. Poison. Oh, I'm doing... It's doing the thing again. What? you want Oh, did it not get trapped? Hey, can you just go over and do I have to aim it or do I have to hang around it so that the tentacle comes down here? Oh. I'm too busy looking at the Karen to look at myself usually. Okay, hold on. No. Those tentacles there don't even have a bulgy thing, so maybe we gotta like... Oh, what the? Did my trap work or... I don't know what happened. Let's just get out of here. I feel like Sheila's not really helping, but I'm just gonna trust her on this one. Oh, this again. Okay. Don't spam the QTE. Oh, it only causes me to come back down. Oh! Hey, this seems really good. Oh! Is this the time for me to get to its trunk? So we can... 
We can't though. We can't because the uh, the tentacle is too it's too violent. Do you want me to climb over here? Maybe that's it. Can I? Yeah. Are we done? We did it. Ooh. Not a bad fight, wouldn't you say, Geralt? Are you all right? That was nothing. That barely took any effort, yeah. <laughs> I'm fine. I've used up much of my energy, so if you needed help... I've learned to help myself. Hmm, a sorceress worried about me. Should I be scared? Playing it tough, like every witcher. That's me! <laughs> huh, what about the Karen? It's dead. <laughs> New bruises and scars come with every fight. Toughness comes from experience. You talk like an old man. Yes, your hair is grey, but I believe the blood courses quickly through your veins. Have you made plans that include me? For now, my plans only involve the Kran. Farewell, then. Don't forget to collect the reward. Oh, I won't. Of course I won't. Thank you, Sheila. And there's my level up. <laughs> I feel like I used a lot of potions and stuff that I didn't necessarily need to use, but hey, hey, we did it. That's really the only thing that matters. So while we're doing this anyway... Oh, we went up two levels! Whole two levels. Okay, might as well get this one right now. Yeah, the one that I wanted. Deals damage to many opponents. Additional opponents take 100%. Do I want that, or do I want to move on? Um, I don't know. I guess I'll have it for now. <laughs> for now, it's pretty much permanent. But um, yeah, I do feel like this one's gonna be important. Speaking of things that should be important, this ability to redirect arrows, I feel like I don't know how to do it. And they never really gave me a chance. Mutate! What does that mean? We did that once before during the prologue, but I completely forgot what that does. <laughs> oh, okay, so we can add mutagens here. Oh, wow, there's so many little components here and there for everything, all the skills. Can we mutate these skills? No? Okay, well, I'll leave it alone for now. Ooh. All in a day's work. Collect my reward for slaying the Karen. We'd best get to work. In the Osmerk. That's done We'd too. We'd get to work. Does the Karen have any loot? You better have loot. That is not loot. I don't think. That's the cocoon thing that we originally sampled the... Yeah. With Triss. But it seems like there may be loot here. Karen eyes. Karen tissue. Karen skin. Karen trophy. Trophy should be something good. Armor plus 3 versus armor plus 3. What? It's actually- Oh, no, no, no. Vitality plus 50. That's the important part here. Hell yeah, we're using that. You're still glowing. Do you have more for me? Maybe up there? So the trap. I'm not really sure what buying the trap did, but I think it made it so that one of the tentacles snapped automatically without me having to hit it. Which, um, I mean, in hindsight, it wasn't really that good of an investment because I could do it myself anyway, but hey! Yay! We got the help and we won, so that's really all that matters, whatever. Examine corpse. Oh, is that this corpse? <laughs> we don't need to look at that anymore. No. Um... Can we not get over there? No? Well, why are you- are you still glowing orange for a reason, or...? Because I feel like once you stop being lootable, 
that you're not orange anymore, but you're still orange here. Maybe this is a bug or something? We'd best it's get to orange, work. but it's not like I can loot it any further. And I already looted it, right? So... Yeah, I've been walking around here for so long that most of my potions already wore off. I guess that's that. Do we just get out of here now or what? Whatever. Okay, let's get going then. Do we go back this way? Back into... Do we go to Lorito? Probably. Yeah, matter of price. With much effort and no small help from Sheila de Tanserville. The Karen was finally slain. Now came the best part of any contract. Geralt could go see the merchant on the waterfront and collect his reward. Not Lorito! The merchant at the waterfront. Alright. Doesn't matter who it is, as long as we're getting paid. Ooh, well, that was a, that was a pretty... That was a pretty crazy fight. In the end, I think the thing that really killed me was the, the QTE. Because otherwise, I would have been able to cast a Quen and whatever. And it's not like we really even needed the trap anyway, but... Hey, like I said, whatever, it's all done. It's all good. We're fine. Let's just walk back to town then. What? Oh? I told you we'd meet again, white-haired one. Grab it! <laughs> uh... I'm trying to walk back to town here! What's with these people? Who are these people? What the? Yeah. Hold up, hold up. I'm not ready for this. Not a good idea to challenge me while I still have my whetstone. And I just got my new ability of being able to hit multiple people at the same time. So, y'all really in for a treat today. Especially you. Ah, oh, the scent of incense. Defeat the assailants. Oh, they just came out of nowhere. Okay, well, I mean, I was on the way back to town anyway. <laughs> they just sent themselves to death to me. Okay, whatever. I just want to see it again. Because I was told that this one seems to be a little bit bugged, but, uh... Seems like it- everything just worked out fine. Where is it? The scent of incense, right here. A menacing, we will meet again, echoed in the witcher's ears as he walked away. And meet they did. The scholar tried to recover the recipe by means completely at odds with proper research methodology. The witcher killed him in self-defense and wondered who his opponent had really been. A scholar? A scholar who would kill people for recipes? Doesn't sound like much of a scholar to me, but hey, what do I know? I'm not a scholar. Okay. Whoa. Sorry, it's uh I'm I'm non-threatening. Don't don't kill me. <laughs> Piss off, Jester. Whoa, don't gotta be like that. I killed the Karen. Show a little bit of respect around here, man. Hey, where's my Warm welcome for ridding the Dead to the squirrels! Oh. Oh, don't say that, little girl. Maybe when you're older, you can think about that a little bit more. The docks! It's that merchant with the glasses. I know it. Who is... Over... Oh, I think we gotta go down, but I missed my chance, so I gotta wrap back here? This guy? People! Ah! The mutant's pursuing me! Shh! Shh! Which one is it? This guy? Boss, why the hell are we stacking and re- Yes. Uh-oh. Trouble. Where did the merchant go? Uh, yeah. Matter of price. The merchant at the waterfront. Right here. Job done. The Karen's dead. Good work. You've earned your reward. It's true. A thousand orange, did I see? I don't know. Did I see it right? Karen's skin armor. 
It's not better than what I have right now, is it? Uh, Vitality plus 30... Vitality plus 15. It's actually... The armor is worse, but the effects might be a little bit better. That's okay. It's not good enough for me to want to deal with it, especially because we just made this armor, so I want to wear it for a little bit first. But it's nice now because we have the Karen ingredients to make stuff with. Okay, Karen carapace. Oh yeah, we bought this earlier. Huh. Should I make the carapace? I mean, it's not like it's that much better than what I have right now either, so whatever. Leave it alone for now. Well, well. How's the Commandant as a host? It's people like him who might help us. Or put us in shackles and throw us into the river. He told me they're keeping Skoyatel prisoners on a barge in the port. Did he mention if Kirin Epesnelen, Yorvet's right-hand elf, is among them? No. He may know something about the Kingslayer. Let's pay him a visit. They oh. pinch my ass and don't even leave it. All right. Prison barge. The model down Kirin to who? Yorveth's right-hand man. Crags, boss. An elf. King Vridank's treasures. Oh, we actually get to go here now. Okay. Uh, do you want me to just go in? What do you want? To speak with the wounded prisoner. No one's allowed. I'm here on Commandant Lorido's orders. I already cut a deal with you, but... So get out of my way. He won't tell you much. He's dying. So get out of my way, so we can talk to him before he dies. Shut your traps. Stop bloody moaning down there. Look, coffers dozed off. They beat him bad. He's got at least a dozen fractures. I'll need your help. What do I do? The spell I'm going to use is painful. It could kill him if he thrashes around. I'll use the Axie sign to calm him. Perfect. Wakey, wakey, coffer. You'll fall asleep forever any day now. You want me to actually cast an Axie Look, sign right here? All wet. Hey, bird. Oh, my God. No playing with your sword. Got it? Sorry. I was trying to cast the Axie sign. Five, five. No playing with your sword, got it? I can't cast a sign without my sword being out. That's the problem right now. Can that guy stop looking over here? Can I just... Yeah, I gotta cast it properly, right? Did it work? Uh, no. How the heck do I do this? Oh, is Axie the one that needs a lot of time to... Yeah, I had to use the Axie sign, but that guy keeps looking at me. How can I do this? Welcome. Yeah, just go there. Okay, just. Yes. Oh, there we go. It's no use. You wish, Horson. I'm no traitor. He's raving. That gun? Where am I? In Flotsam, on the prison barge. The convict's barge? I'm done for. Hmm. I don't want to. Do I want to say something like that? Uh, I'd rather just stay out of it if we can. But uh, none of these are yellow. So I'm not sure if I can ask about all of them. We need your help. We need to speak with Yorveth. Like hell, Dwan. I'll tell you nothing. You'd be dying in pain if it wasn't for us. If it wasn't for the Dwan, I wouldn't be here. There's a Witcher in Yorveth's unit. Like every Dwan, he turned out to be a bastard. Surprise. He betrayed us. He said he had an offer for me, so we met, where Roses of Remembrance grow. I should have known. Roses of Remembrance? Yes, some of the last in the world. He thought that I'd betray my elven brother in order to control the unit. I refused, and there was a fight. I've never seen anything like it. 
No human can move that fast. It was a massacre. I was the first to be hit. Thus, I survived. I would have bled to death had Laredo's men not found me. Letho will kill Yorveth, and all will be lost. So many dead, so much suffering. All for naught. Letho? His name is Letho? I think we know it is. Yeah, it's the Witcher, so... Why does the Dwan want Yorvith dead? He used us from the start. Our hatred, but he no longer needs Yorvith. Sees him as a thorn in his side. I don't know what Letho wants. What does Yorvith want? Why Flotsam? Go plow yourself. Hmm. If we want the levels to increase for the abilities, we have to use them. But if we want a better chance of succeeding, we should use the one with the highest skill, which I think is Axie. You have to tell me. I'm on your side. If you say so. Flotsam is only the beginning. We're no bandits, we fight for freedom. In due time, Yorvith will answer the call, and we'll emerge from the woods, joining the battle. What battle? He wasn't specific. In that case, I'll ask Yorvith himself. <laughs> I'd like to see that. Letho, he's the Kingslayer? Yes. Hmm. We got what we came for. What now? Yorvith. What if Yorvith already knows? I've got an old saying all ready for him. My enemy's enemy is my friend. Warn him, Gwynplaid. Yorvith fights, for that is what he does best. He's Enshe, a real one, a free one, among the last. Fighting makes sense, now more than ever before. There is still hope. What are you talking about, Kieran? Hope for what? For change, for a better tomorrow. I'll not see it. They'll torment me to death on this barge, and I'll go gladly where the apple trees bloom. But you must warn Yorveth. Yennefer told me that Ciri has departed for good. She inhabits another world and is happy there. Before she left this one, she gave us the Isle of Avaloch, our island. We stopped counting time. I'm recovering my memories again. People believe that the wraiths of the wild hunt are immortal. They race across the heavens, gripping in their bony hands swords, their lightning bolts. They take away mortals, ever expanding their cavalcade of spectral riders. They burned the orchard and the house. In their armored boots, they trampled our island, 